is very important not just if you're on a level up journey but just in life right knowledge is power but applied knowledge is the real power <laughs> She, she and I'm back with another video so today's video I'm coming to y'all with five books that I recommend you read if you're new to this level of life okay so if you're just starting your level up journey these are five books that I recommend that you read if you have not read already that will definitely help you with your mindset you can't look leveled up but not be leveled up on the inside you can't act the part and not be the part. It has to be a balance of both, okay? You have to not only look good, look leveled up, but you also have to have that level up mindset. That is how you will truly transform your life. These are books that I am going to mention today. It's really going to help you to shift your mindset into a more winning type of attitude. A lot of times we have a mindset that we're not good enough or we're too afraid to go after our dreams, okay? Or we may have gone through a lot in life that keeps us feeling like we're stuck, like there's blockages, like it's meant for other people but not for me. If you have a desire to be successful or healthier or just even just have motivation, then these books will help you. These books will help you to change your mindset if you apply the information in the book okay if you apply the knowledge then you will get the results before we get started if you like what you see so far then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl also y'all do me a favor and share this video share with your family and your friends or people who you know that are on the level of journey or they just want to improve their life okay share this video with them that will really mean a lot to me and also you'll be helping them out by giving them information that's going to help them improve themselves the last video that i did was a level up video and a lot of y'all really liked that i said that i would share some books that i read that helped me on my level up journey reading is very important not just if you're on a level up journey but just in life right knowledge is power but applied knowledge is the real power Not only do you have to read the books but you have to implement the information that are in the books you have to implement them in your life in order for them to work let me go ahead and get to it i'm not going to keep y'all long i don't want this to be a super long video i kind of just want to just go over these books and give you just a little short synopsis of each book you have to take the information in these books and apply it to your life that's the only way that it's going to work okay so let me go ahead and get to it so the first book that i want to talk about is the four agreements I feel like this is a really good book for anyone who may be dealing with limiting belief this book really puts things into perspective the four agreements that are mentioned in the book are be impeccable with your word don't take anything personally don't make assumptions and to always do your best in the book the author don miguel talked about how the outside world can have a impact on how we actually live our lives the author says in the book that our biggest fear is not death instead our biggest fear is actually being who we truly are a lot of people are walking around with masks on okay they're not living their life to the fullest because they're living their life for everybody else they're afraid of what other people may think about them this book will help you free yourself of that fear fear of being judged from the outside world that keeps you from living your best life. The next book is called You Can Live Your Life by Louise Hay. This is a really good book. She also has a book called You Can Heal Your Body. In this book, Louise Hay gives a lot of healing techniques. Louise Hay talks about how our limiting thoughts and our emotional behavior is linked to disease in the body. And she really talks and breaks down the relationship between mind and the body. The idea of this book is that if we do the mental work that needs to be done, then we can actually heal ourselves. You can heal, and, and she's talking about healing in all areas of your life, whether it's relationship, money, your actual physical body, meaning your health. Any issues that you may have where you just don't feel like you're good enough. 
she really stresses the point that our beliefs create our lives. So what we believe about ourselves and what we believe about our life is what we create. This book will give you the tools to do the proper healing and mental work that is needed. This chapter starts off with affirmations and techniques that you can use to start the mental work. The next book that I recommend for the level of journey is The Secret. It's a very popular book and The Secret is actually the book that started me on this whole level up journey. And when I found out about the law of attraction, my whole life changed. So if you've never read The Secret, I do recommend this book to anyone that is working on leveling up their lives. Also a movie as well. So you have the book and you have the movie. This book talks about the law of attraction and the power of positive thinking. The power of positive thinking, you can attract to your life all the things that you desire, okay? It's basically going back, just like a lot of these books, it's going back to your mind and how you have the power to, sh when you shift your mind, okay? And when you shift and you change your mindset, you can pretty much attract to you all the things that you desire. This book is what started me on my level up journey and just my spiritual journey as well. Thoughts are very powerful. If you haven't realized that, I'm here to tell you. So if you're looking for a book that actually talks about how you can use the power of positive thinking to change your life, this is the book for you. Your mind is very powerful and it can create anything, okay? It can create positive outcomes and it can also create negative outcomes as well. The author talks about how there are no accidents and there's no such thing as bad luck. Your life and your reality right now is based upon your past thoughts and actions talks about the law of attraction and how basically it's the law of nature just like gravity it's gonna apply whether you want it to or not the next book is think and grow rich by napoleon hill now this is a classic book this book was actually published in 1937 but it's still a book that is very 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 beneficial to you creating the life that you want i feel like everyone needs to read this book this book is talking about the power of thought. As you can see, everything starts in the mind. Even creation itself was started with a thought. This book, Napoleon Hill lays out the 13 principles. The message of this book, again, thoughts are things. Take it in a certain way gives you power. And with that power, you're able to attract anything you want into your life almost anything, let me correct myself. If you want to attract abundance, Napoleon Hill said these are the secrets. The last and final book is The Alchemist. This is actually a fiction book, it's more like a novel, but it had a very, very important message. It's about a shepherd boy named Santiago who was having these reoccurring dreams and he went to someone and talked to them and they said that he should go ahead and make those dreams come true because they were prophetic dreams and he needed to make them happen. So he decided to go ahead and start the journey. Um, along the way he met some mentors he had some obstacles it just wasn't easy from this book you start your personal journey there are going to be obstacles in your way i'll have a personal legend like the book says a personal legend or a dream that we should all fulfill we should all follow that dream because it's going to give us fulfillment. And that's something that a lot of people do not have. The message that I also got from this book is not to let fear hold you back from your dream. The secret of life is fall seven times and get up eight. So when you go through life and you go through these obstacles, they're not blockages. They're simply obstacles that you have to overcome in order to grow in order to learn so whatever your aspirations are know that you can overcome anything that you feel is holding you back you can pursue your dreams whatever that is
told y'all this, this is not going to be a long video at all. I will make sure that I leave the link to the books mentioned below so that you all can check them out if you want to. And if you have a Kindle or the Kindle app, you can actually read some of these books for free. So I'll make sure again that I leave the link in the description box. Also, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye, loves.